need my hand. I got a mother, a sister, and a brother who have gone to that sweet home, and I'm determined to go and see them get along over on that other shore. As I go down to the river of Jordan, just to pay to my weary soul, if I could touch but the hem of his garden, good Lord, I believe it would make me whole. Just lay there sleeping, good long, sweet peace, this soul is found. Okay, this is the lesson for I Am a Pilgrim. Influenced by uh, Merle Travis playing, of course. I think everybody who plays this is influenced by him because he did it so very well. But I tried to do some different things here and uh, <clears throat> we'll see about that later. First, let's get in tune. I am in standard tuning, but I'm tuned a half step down uh, and placing my capo on the second frets. Uh, if you want to have the same pitch as me, well, you either have to tune down and place your capo on the second fret, <coughs> or you stay in standard tuning and place your capo on the first fret. <coughs> then you were in the same page. Um, <coughs> and of course, my capo is regarded as the zero fret, so this is the first, the second, the third fret, and so on. <coughs> so I'll play the, the first verse. Uh, slowly. Sorry. starting with a simple intro and you'll, you'll hear that uh, you can do those many variations like this or a bit muted or like that uh, use your imagination there then we go to a B7 now I'm muting with the right hand like uh, usually we, what we do in Travis picking uh, but sometimes I let it open uh, <coughs> You'll hear it very clearly. And the, <clears throat> the purpose of Travis picking is you can, you can play hard and the second and the uh, fourth beat are usually accented to get a bit of a swing in it. And you play it hard so that the strings, the underlying strings are ringing. That, and that's why it's important that you keep holding the chords. See that, fir that third string, first fret is ringing true. So, first, uh, second bar, and you 
you notice that the alternating bass goes not always, but in many parts uh, between three strings. Five, four, six, four, five, four, six, four. Now we're going to a different uh, E7. That's your D7 position moved up. <coughs> and your index is added to the four string second fret. For three beats and then free handed. 2nd fret, 4th fret on the 1st and 6th string and then we're going to an uh, A7 where we just fret the 2nd string and the 4th string on the 2nd fret. Bend, back to our E. Back to our E7. But now we're making the switch on the third beat instead of on the fourth beat, which we did previously in the fifth measure. Open and to our A chord, which is a bar of the fifth fret and the second finger added to the third string, sixth fret. And the pinky does some work here. And you hear that second, that third string ringing through. And sometimes I add a little uh, grace notes. On the third and second string. And right there, I kept it short. I'll sing it uh, slowly. I am a pilgrim and a stranger traveling through this wearsome land. And I got a home in that younger city, good Lord. And it's not, not made by So on. Now you've seen the <coughs> lyrics uh, that I provided in the last sentence. You see in parentheses, good lord, it's not. And sometimes uh, Merle Travis always does it, I think. Instead of that bass run, he's saying good lord, and it's not. And so on. But I thought, well, I sang it already uh, once, so I'm not going to repeat it. And I kept simply the bass run as a well, instrumental interlude for three beats. So, in the solo, <coughs> we're doing pretty much the same thing, but with some chords on different positions, which makes it more interesting. So, this is the solo. Again, <coughs> we're going to the B7, and in the 19th measure, the second beat of that, uh, well, the solo, I'm doing. I'm bending, and I'm using that also. You well, you will notice that in the uh, version with vocals, that I use some elements of the solos um, in. Be in the accompaniment in the accompaniment for the verses, and this is a good example. I got a mother, sister, and a brother who have gone. The same thing. Okay, and then um, in the twentieth bar, we have a hammer. I'm sliding, and this time I'm le leaving the second string open. Instead of friendly on the third fret. Same thing. 
thing, and now we got a different uh, A7 chord. 8th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret. And notice that in bar 24 and 25, we have two beats of E and two beats of B7. And sometimes I use that in the verse as well. Uh, Start saying it on the second time you use the B7 in bar 20, sorry, yeah, 25. So, bar 24. And sometimes, of course, you can use a hammer on instead of simply. And here, well, I did something different than in the tap. In the tap, you see the bass is like that. And in the performance I play it often like that. One time uh, fretting the chords. And then, then you get that bing bong effect when you go to the E7 at the seventh position. And that E7 is, is your D7 or your C7 position in the first position, and you simply move over your two, your ring, uh, pinky and your ring finger to the first fret and the third, sorry, the third string, the third string and the first string, third fret. And you move to the seventh fret and then you have an E chord. So that's it for bar 27. And now you move the whole thing up, well, you over the two fingers to the ninth fret, play it with the bay, with the temp, so it's the bass does like that. And then we go into our A chord. Different bass run here. So we're sliding into our partial uh, E7 chord, bar 30. Then I have a second solo <coughs> that has only a few variations at the end, so the second solo would sound. And here I did, I didn't pick, I just and slightly bent. the same and then we come in with um, the second last line of the tap on page 2 uh, numbered bar 34 where we have a, a, a sharp diminished 7 wow what a name so you're still barring frets uh, 2 sorry strings 2 3 and 4 are enough your second finger goes to the sixth fret uh, of the sixth string, and you third finger goes to the third string sixth fret, and you add the pinky to the seventh fret in the second beat. And then we have a your pinky is already there. You slide to the ninth fret. You add your third finger to the ninth fret fourth string, and your index to the first string seventh fret. And you have another E chord there and slide back and go to a slide into your B7. Now in, in the third verse I used the solo uh, also um, as an accompaniment. As I go down to the river of Jordan used the 
bar um, 27 and 28. After when I went bar 25, for example. Last verse, now when I'm dead, I really kept it short there. And there I do a bend with your pinky on the second string, and that's why also I tuned down a half step so I have lead not as much tension on the strings as before, and then that bent with your pinky will be slightly easier. Now when I'm dead, laying in my coffin, all my friends all get around. And they can say that he's just laying there sleeping. No, I didn't do that, but that's what I did in the third verse. But you see, it works for every verse. Um, and at the end, I just faded out. So. so when I slowed down, I played the first thing to the fourth fret. Second string, third fret. And then in unison, with the first string as a drone. So I play that with uh, index and middle finger. Hammer on, pull off, pull off. Again, the second uh, fret, third string. Open on the fourth string. Hit the chords and slide to the seventh fret on the fifth string. That's it for I Am a Pilgrim. <laughs>